God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Listen, it is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice, and we shall be glad in it. I'm excited about this day. I'm excited about this new year because I believe that this is the year that the Lord is going to pour out upon his people. This is the year that doors are going to open. This is the year that things are going to begin to change in your life. I believe that this is the year uh, that God is going to do wonderful and marvelous things in the lives of the people of God. Uh, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you glory, God. We give you praise and we give you honor. We magnify you. We lift you up. We pray, God, now that you would endow us with your presence. Endow us with your uh, wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. We pray, God, that you would allow us to get clarity and revelations of your word as we read your word, as we go to churches and we hear your word, that you would allow us to get clarity of your word and increase our faith. For you said faith coming by hearing and hearing comes by the word of God. And we thank you and we give you praise for it now. In Jesus' name, amen and thank God. Listen. I'm excited, as I said, with the opening of the show, that this is the year that God is going to, uh, I believe, bless uh, the people of God with the things that you've been waiting for. Uh, this is our year that we shall receive uh, our promise. I believe, I'm not saying that this is what the Lord told me or this is what the Lord showed me. I'm saying I believe that this is the year that we're going to receive. And the reason why I say that, because a lot of us have been struggling. We've been going through some things. We've been disappointed in in, in few years. We've been uh, just overwhelmed with issues in our lives. And we've been praying and we've been believing God for things to change in our life. And I believe that this is the year that God is going to answer our prayers. And this is the year that God is going to do miraculous things for the people of God. Uh, according to thy faith, so be it unto you. And my faith, and I hope your faith, will reach that plateau to say, I believe God this year for my breakthrough. I believe God this year for my promise. I believe God this year for my family to come together in unity of one. I believe this year is the year that God's going to reach down and save my family. According to thy faith, so be it. you got to, you know, I've, I've come to the conclusion that no matter what you go through, no matter what we struggle with, we're going to continue those things until we start believing what the Word of God says. This is a new year. We reached the year of 2023. And we've come into a time where we have to step up our game, so to speak, in our faith and in our trust in God. We've got to believe and trust in God like we never have before in order to receive the promises that God has promised us. And we've been waiting for those things to happen. I believe if we increase our faith, we are going to see a mighty move of God. Not only in our personal lives, but in our churches, in our ministries, we're going to see some miraculous things happen in the service. 
while the praise, the worship service is going on, we're going to see miracles. While the ministers are preaching, we're going to see miracles happen. I believe that this year, if we increase our faith, we're going to be able to do the things that God said we can do. The Bible says that these things God did, but we shall do greater things. And I believe if we increase our faith this year, greater things, not only in our personal life, but in our ministries, in our uh, uh, churches, that this is the year that we're going to see greater things happen in the church, in our personal life. We just have to step up our faith. We have to step up and we have to start believing what God has promised us in his word. I don't believe that God will um, go back against his word. The Bible says that if he spoke it, he will do it. If he said it, it will come to pass because he's not a man that he shall lie, nor the son of man that he shall repent. It has to come. And he said in his word, in Isaiah, he said that my word shall not return unto me void. So here, watch this. If I get into the word of God, if I read the word of God, and the word of God says I'm healed by his stripes, guess what? It cannot return unto him void. It has to heal my body. It has to heal my situation. It has to heal my circumstances. You got to understand, sometimes sickness comes because we allow depression and we allow, allow things to come upon us so we end up being sick. You know, you hold things in and you end up getting sick. You hold things in, you get headaches and you don't know where they come from because you are not releasing that thing from you. He said in his word that we are to lay our burdens down, cast our yoke upon him, for his yoke is easy, his burden is light. Uh, uh, so we got to uh, release these things so God can touch our bodies and heal our bodies by his stripes. I'm healed, not only sickness, but I'm healed in my situation. My finances are healed. My home is healed. My family is healed. Everything around me is healed. Why? Because he spoke it in his word. But my faith has to be increased to believe what God has promised me will come to pass. I believe that if we did that, my God, we'll see miracles happen again. We'll see people come into church in wheelchairs and leave the wheelchair there and walk out of there like they were supposed to walk and not be in the situation that they I believe that if this year, if the churches will come together and quit fighting and bickering against one another, trying to be the number one church in the city, trying to be the number one church in the, in the community, but come together and let's pray and let's fast and let's believe God for our communities to come together and stop all of this nonsense. Oh my, I believe it. We need to stop all of this fighting in the church. Stop all this gossiping in the church. Stop all of this mess that's going on in the church because, see, the world is looking at the church. And if we're doing it and they're doing it, then what's the sense of them coming to get healed? What's the sense of them coming to get delivered? What's the sense of them coming to receive a breakthrough or receive a word from the Lord if when they get there, we got the urchers fighting the deacons. We got the deacons fighting against the trustee. We got the trustees fighting against uh, the choir. We got the, the choir fighting against the musicians. We got everybody fighting against the pastor and, and, and the first lady. And we, we, can't, we, we, we cannot invite the anointing of God into the house of God so the people can come in and receive breakthroughs, deliverance, and miracles and a word from the Lord if this is going on in our churches. I believe that if we get together as one, we can see 
our city change. We can see our communities change. We can see our churches change. We can see our homes, families change. And we come together as one. The Bible says that they were all on one accord in one place with one mind. And then the anointing of God, the Holy Ghost, filled that place. So just imagine if the churches came together and prayed. And I mean, we got together and prayed and, and, and fast. What would happen to our city? I believe the anointing of God would fall on our city in such a way that a lot of these crimes that are taking place would not take place because families will be as one. Communities will be as one. Churches will be as one. The city would be as one. Our leadership in our city, our leadership in our state, our leadership in our country will come together because the churches have came together as one and has allowed the Holy Ghost to saturate us. That we are all on one accord and we're seeing the mighty move of God in our cities and in our churches. I just believe if we did that, I, be, I just believe that the churches will come and the Holy Ghost will fill our churches and they would, people will be healed, people will be delivered, people will be set free, people will be uh, receiving the word of God, they will be receiving uh, miracles in their lives. I want you to know that it's, it's that time that we come together and do this. Um, I would love to see um, our city change. I would love to see uh, the crime in our city, especially um, among our young people. I would love to see our young people come together uh, and stop all of this. If, if, we, if we as church, if we as saved folk, if we as people that say we love the Lord, uh, we show our love of God in our lives, then I believe a lot of things will change. I was, um, let me say this real quick, I was uh, watching something and uh, this lady uh, say she's saved and, you know, she go to church and she believe God and she's just, you know, saved from her sin, but she was in this place just fussing and, and going on and, and all that. And, and I'm saying to myself, that is not showing, uh, that's not showing the love of God. That's not showing uh, how you supposed to act if you say you love God. Then, I mean, walk away from that situation. Say, I mean, you know, she said what she said, but she kept going. Say what you say and move on, move, move on. And, 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 and don't allow the enemy to entice you and to keep on bookering and, and, and fussing. Because you don't know what that other person could have done. That other person could have pulled out a gun and started shooting at her or anything. And that's how things are caused because we as people of God, Need to and I had to learn this. I'm, 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 I'm telling you the truth. I had to learn myself. Some things you just have to hold your peace on and give it to God. Some things you just got to say, okay, God, I, it, it belongs to you. you. You do things. You make it happen. I'm done. I, I have nothing to say. Sometimes we just have to hold our peace and let the Lord fight our battles. Um, so just remember uh, that we as people of God need to show the love of God uh, in our lives. Uh, Zara Coley, great man of God, uh, had the opportunity to meet him, and a great man of God, man of wisdom, 
Sangasong and it says um, we have to live the life that we sing about in our songs. We have to live the life that we preach about in our pulpits. When the lights go out and we walk out of that door, we have to live what we shown in that building that we call a church. We have to walk what we talked about in our pulpits. We talk about love. We talk about uh, the Holy Ghost. We talk about allowing the Holy Ghost to lead us and guide us. We talk about these things and we talk about turning away evil, but we have to live what we talk about. Um, I had to learn that. I had to learn to stop fussing. Because I was a fusser. I, I'm just being honest. I was a fusser. I had to learn how to just hold my peace. If things ain't going my way. If it ain't like I think it should be, just hold my peace and walk away. And just give it to God. And let God take care of it. What a friend we have in Jesus. He is able to take care of all of our problems. But we have to allow and we have to uh, feed our spiritual man in the word of God, in prayer, that our faith can elevate to where God wants our faith to elevate this year so we can receive the things that God wants to give us this year. I believe God wants to release some mighty things in our lives this year. I believe God wants to give us uh, some great great miracles in this year, but we have to uh, feed our spiritual man this year. I want you to take the first week of July, of January, take the first week of January and fast and pray and spend time with God. Uh, uh, but I think this tape will be out after the first week of January. So, Sometime in January or the first week of February, I want you to just give God that week. Just go fast and pray and give God that week uh, and watch. Uh, I mean, sincerely pray and sincerely fast. Uh, do it like the Bible said, do it. Go and uh, anoint thy face and anoint thy head and wash thy face and consecrate yourself to God. Uh, in that week and I believe that some things in your life will break some things that you've been dealing with and you believe in God for will break in your life if you give God that week uh, in February that first week of February if you give that first week in February to God in sincere prayer and fasting and consecrating uh, to the Lord you know uh, I believe that God will do some things in our life. Maybe in the next segment, I may talk about fasting and consecration because a lot of times we think, you know, we fast and we fast for the wrong reasons. Uh, we consecrate ourselves for the wrong reasons. So I may talk about in our next segment um, the, the, the fasting and consecrations. And all that. We, we, we don't... We don't um, do a lot of teaching on that. Uh, a lot of our ministers, a lot of our churches, a lot of our leaders don't teach on fasting and consecrating and, and laying before God and crying out to God uh, for things uh, that we need in our lives. We've gotten away from, uh, we've gotten away from uh, teaching our people what it is to tarry. We've gotten away from teaching our people what it is uh, to receive the Holy Ghost and what it is to be baptized and what it is to be saturated with God. We've gotten out of teaching um, that in our churches. We've gotten focused on prosperity and we've gotten focused on uh, building and, uh, ministries. Now, don't get me wrong. That's That's... Uh, what God wants. He wants us to be prosperous. He wants us to live in prosperity. Uh, but he wants us to gain it 
the way scripture says gain it, not the way people say gain it. Uh, he wants us to gain prosperity. He wants us to live in prosperity. He wants us to live in the best. He wants us to have the best. But he wants us to have it the way he desires for us to have it. I may, I may teach on that as well uh, in the next coming up segments about the prosperity of God, uh, how and what it means to be prosperous in God and, 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 and things of that nature. Because you got to understand, a lot of times, uh, I don't have time now, but I may do it in one of the segments coming up uh, in this year of 2023, I may teach on the, the prosperity of God and the blessings of God and the re receiving the promises of God and, and getting back into uh, fasting and getting back into consecration and getting back into uh, laying out before God so we can receive the promises and the things of God. You gotta understand, there is a process that we have to go through to obtain the promises that God has promised us. Uh, so this, this year, I may do a lot of teaching on those things. But now, if you're, if you're um, looking for a church, you're looking for um, a place to worship, by all means, please join us. Um, join us at this location. Uh, Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Right there on the corner of North Bend and Simpson Avenue, right there in the community of North College Hill. Uh, we're there on the West North Bend Road. West North Bend Road. 2062 West North Bend Road. Right there on the corner of Simpson and North Bend. We're there on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. And we're getting ready to uh, start our Bible studies on teleconference. Uh, and I will have that information for you uh, in the next coming up segments when we begin to start our Bible study. That way you can call in and listen to the Bible study, uh, share your input uh, in the Bible study. Because we do have a question and answer section in our Bible study. Um, and we do that as God leads us to do it. Uh, so get ready to come and be with Impartation Family Worship Center on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. at 2062 West North Bend Road, right on the corner of North Bend and Simpson. Will we be there and we will be worshiping the Lord and we will be giving God praise and we will be magnifying and lifting up the name of Jesus because it's not about us. It's about him. Listen, if you're turning your channel and you just happen to end up on this channel, it's not by accident. You're here for a reason. Um, you say to yourself, I just, I'm just tired of living the way I'm living. I'm tired of going through what I'm going through. I'm tired of, uh, of this and I'm tired of that. And you're ready to make a commitment to God. Even those that have once given their life to God, and you just fell back. You just fell back into a backslidden condition, and you want to rededicate yourself back to God. You want to get back in that place with God in your life. I want you to pray with me as we pray this prayer. I want you to pray with me as we go uh, to the throne and believe God for your breakthrough. I want you to pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I believe in my heart and I confess right now with my mouth that you sent your son Jesus to die for my sin. And now I have a right to life. I have a right to the tree of life. I have a right to salvation because you allowed your son to die and rose for me to live, and I thank you, and I denounce every trick of the enemy in my life now. I come against every spirit of darkness in my life right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you.
Amen. Listen, if you prayed that prayer and you uh, need directions and you need clarity of what you done here, meet us Sunday morning here at 2062 West North Bend Road, right on the corner of Simpson Avenue and North Bend. Or you can call that number right there on your screen, 513-799-5099, and we will pray with you and we will share with you uh, what you just done when you gave your life to God. Meet us there. And we want to believe God for your miracle. Amen. So I want you to remember this. God loves you. And so do I. And I want you to take care. And I want you to believe God for your breakthrough this year. I want you to know it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and it is about to rain down miracles in our lives uh, this year. In the year of 2023, we're going to see God move in our lives. Amen? If you believe that, Clap your hands right there where you at and tell God thank you. So now, don't forget, Sunday morning at 11 a.m., meet us right here at 2062 Northwest North Bend Road, right here in uh, the city of Cincinnati, the community of College Hill. Right there, uh, where we'll be worshiping God and lifting up the name of Jesus and, and just having... Good old church. And just singing and worshiping God, having good old church right here at 2062 West North Bend Road, right on the corner of North Bend and Simpson Avenue in the community of uh, North College Hill. We'll be there Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Or you can email us. If you prayed that prayer with us tonight, you can email us. Um, and let us know that you gave your life to the Lord or you rededicated your life back to God. Uh, and we're going to pray with you and believe God for your miracle. Meet us on Sunday mornings. Uh, I do give um, bottles of oil away as God leaves me. I'll place a bottle of oil in your hand and give you directions on that oil. Don't cost you nothing. Don't cost you a dime give you the bottle of oil and tell you how to use it uh, and what to believe God for with that bottle of oil. Amen. So meet us Sunday morning right here. And until then, may God bless you and may heaven smile upon you is our prayer. God bless you.